Man survives grizzly attack thanks to some bear spray. An elk hunter is thanking his, well, his friend's bear spray after it saved him from a grizzly attack on Saturday in Gallatin National Forest. According to his Facebook post, Bob Legasa and his hunting partner Greg Gibson were moving towards some elk when Bob heard a growl. It was a two-year-old cub and its mother about 12 yards away. After the cub growled, it moved closer and that's when the mother charged. Legasa didn't have time to reach his bear spray. The grizzly bit his hand, breaking a bone in his arm and clawed at its face. That's when Gibson rushed over and discharged bear spray into the grizzly's face, which caused her to let go. Legasa pulled out his own spray but ended up macing himself instead. Though, Gibson then discharged his spray again but the wind blew it back into his eyes. The bears ran off as both men were temporarily blinded by their own sprays. Funny thing is that three weeks earlier, the duo had made a bear spray safety video for Gibson's Montana Guide Service. After the bear spray wore off a bit, the two made it back to their truck. Animals Bears becoming vegetarian because of global warming. Are you hot? Looks like global warming is getting so unbearable that grizzly bears in Alaska are now going vegetarian. According to a new study, grizzly bears on Kodiak Island changed their diets due to climate change and started eating berries instead of salmon. Normally, researchers would see grizzlies eating large amounts of sockeye salmon from streams in preparation for the winter. In the summers of 2014 and 2015, the bears were no longer seen hunting for salmon. The bears were found in the hills eating elderberries. Warmer temperatures were causing the berries to ripen earlier. This meant that salmon and berries were available at the same time. Elderberries contain less protein compared to salmon and require less energy to digest, leading to faster weight gain for bears. The change in diet was also found to be affecting the bears' natural habitat because fewer fish carcasses in the forests meant less nutrients being absorbed into the soil. Bird in cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the Sparrow ended up taking. Grandma mistakes a possum for one of her cats. An animal-loving grandmother from Kansas was found to have an opossum hanging out among her stray cats. Eric Hurtline's grandmother has a big heart, especially for our furry little friends. She has her enclosed porch decked out with beds and food. Her grandson Eric dropped by for a visit recently. When he went to check in on the cats, his kitty sense started tingling. Right there among the felines was an opossum chilling in one of the beds. When Hurtline asked his grandmother about the little dude, she said she had named him Tete and that he'd first come to her house when he was an orphaned baby looking for food. So naturally, she took the opossum in. Since then, he's been coming back for the grub and witty conversation. Eric's grandmother really thought Tete was just a cat at first, but when she finally did see it was an opossum, she said, well, he hasn't bothered me yet, so I'm okay with him being here. Hey, if Granny says it's cool, it's cool. Abandoned cat found with two pounds of fur weighing it down. If you thought you'd seen every kind of crazy cat video out there, well, think again. On December 16th, the Animal Rescue League shelter in Pittsburgh posted these outrageous photographs to Facebook of a kitty in desperate need of a snippety snip. The cat's 82-year-old owner had Alzheimer's disease, and when he was moved to a nursing home, the furry friend was forgotten and left behind. A distant relative showed up to leave some food out for the elderly man's cat, but he was caught off guard when something raggedly bolted out from under the bed. Using a flashlight, the man searched around the house until he spotted a cat wearing what appeared to be a fur coat for the ages. 
Its fur was so matted, due to the neglect of her unwittingly forgetful owner, that the cat looked like some sort of mythical creature out of an old monster movie. The man brought the poor disheveled cat to the vet, where they put her to sleep so the long overdue haircut could find the commence. Free of her furry shackles, 14-year-old Heidi now has a new home with the man who saved her. Nice new do, kitty cat! And she even looks slimmer without the dreads. Feral cats overrun remote island in southern Japan. <laughs> Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a cat astrophy down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six and seven toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West, are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sands said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up, and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18-inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water, or internet, but they do have generators, food, and medical supplies on site.